Hey, this is Mantle, all others are fake, and welcome back to my Let's Play series. Right now, I am on a totally new building which you have not seen before, which is the Iron Golem Farm. So, I decided not to record any of it because I was basically watching a tutorial to build the whole thing. But as you can see, I built it really high up. There's the first witch hut, there's spawn, uh, there's the skelly farm, there's a little crop farm, and another. Uh, what you call it? I don't know, but it's a compact farm. And then there's a cow farm down there, which I don't know if I've shown you. And a few villager holding bays, which I used for these guys before I relocated them up here. But anyway, let's go down. Oh wait, maybe, maybe I'll show you a few thing, few things from up here. So there's the desert with a lava pool there. You can't quite see right yet. Can you? Will it load? No, but you, you get, yeah, I've removed a lot of sand from over there. And that's where I've been getting most of my sand from, a few pumpkins down there. Nothing much else to see from up here. So let's go down and <laughs> I wonder if they're all still there, let's see. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah, there's a lot of slimes down there. But there should be a lot more than that. Leroy! Yeah, most of them disappeared. Except this spider could be the one. Go on. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so probably need a bit. But usually you're so high up that when you come down, the ground is covered in mobs. And I must have waited too long because they must have all despawned. But it has been crazy before. Go away. Come on, brother. Not today. Thank you. Anyway, this is... Uh, what happens, the iron golems fall all the way down here and then they get killed by the lava and this is the amount of iron I've got so far plus all the ones required to make the hot hoppers please, brothers, not now after recording, okay okay, okay see ya so, using that method of mob spawning um, on the surface and the reason they spawn there is because I'm so high up that they just can't spawn below ground because it's too far away so I'm gonna do something similar with the witch hut over there rather than actually make it impossible to for them to spawn but anyway this is the cow farm which I made I covered it with vines so I could get up I uh, do not fall in here you just give them wheat and then well, I'm only give, going to give them two since I'll trade this 60 to Fred. But you give it to them, and then there's a tiny slot where uh, baby cows can fall through, but not you. So, hmm, that's weird. There should be a one baby cow in there because I gave two wheat. That's odd. Uh, anything else here? New? Uh, he's working on a piston door. Erico is. I got a few. Please. Okay, um, I got this bow, which is pretty good. Uh, back at my base, I got a power 4 bow, and I got them from uh, this barns. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the bridge is now gone, and the reason is obviously because that never portal over there. And I tore down the bridge, that was one of the reasons, and the other reason was it was pretty ugly, and I didn't like working on it. So, the never portals are really quick, but now that I'm here, I might as well just cross over to see on the li lily pads. And you can see jump scare over there in the unloaded chunk. And you can see a lot of stuff here in these unloaded chunks. I'll try and not look at anything. Anyway, I've already explored a lot around here. We don't really need another farm, mob spawner farm, that is. And also that iron farm. Um, you may have seen on the sign if you pause, but um, it's designed for low efficiency on purpose because I don't want people to rely on it like 
Wow, more than two times as tall as Aerofoil Skelly Farm. But I don't want people to rely on that iron farm for all their iron. I actually want them to still work for some of their iron and if they really need some then they go there to get some. So that's why it's low efficiency. If I really wanted to I could make uh, two cells which currently that's one. I could make two which go together. Maybe even four. I don't know. But yeah there's the sheep farm. Wow it's really unloaded. Also Aerofoil's chest tower is gone and I post uh, posted this post. Any reply with that, so that was pretty entertaining. And we haven't found that uh, Silk Touch Librarian. This is the Silk Touch Iron Pick Trader, which I told you about. So it's fairly decent. Uh, this guy is almost unlocked. He's only got Iron Sword, Cold Trade, and Chainmail Pants left, and then he's fully unlocked. I'm hoping for Cold Trade to be last. Well, I think it's just not loading properly because I'm recording or something. Can't even see. Yeah, there's the house. Not much changes here. Might as well show you in the chest contents. So I went back to the fortress and found a fourth with a skull. I decided to put all my TNT here because of Trance. Can't trust him. Um, I decided to use my Silk Touch shears on the mushrooms and I got that. I got it on all different variants of the mushroom, the big mushrooms that is. And they all gave me this, so that's a bit disappointing. Uh, there's my map. Fortune pick, Silk Touch pick, uh, Silk Touch book. Uh, this, I uh, decided to enchant one of my diamond helmets and I got protection free, and I already had a protection free book, so I just fused them. Now I just need an unbreaking book. And I think that's pretty much it, Jaws of Life. Oh yeah, this book. Whenever someone says something which really no one should actually care about, I just give in the book of people who care. Uh, everyone was laughing when I handed it to them, and that's why I keep it in my inner chest. And also the farm will be relocating over there, and the reason it's so high is so that I can have this under there, and because villager farms and iron golem farms mess with each other, so if they're a hundred blocks away or more, then they shouldn't interfere, and I think it's around about two stacks high above the ground. I'll need to, um... Do I have a spare chest? No. I use them all for the hoppers. I'll be ripping these down uh, because they don't turn on in time. Oh yeah, I did place a chest. I've got to um, fill this out with votes that have been passed. For example, uh, the first boss we're all bursting is the, uh, the Ender Dragon because three people said that and there's a few others but that's the main one which I need to write down and then I can just remove it off the board. Chaunce's house still barely untouched. <laughs> I placed bone meal here before and then it all started burning so I had to remove it all. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh yes, now that I remember, I worked on this a little bit more and it's more than halfway complete. And I know it looks ugly with, gra with glass. Wow, lag. It looks ugly with glass but in 1.7 it actually doesn't. It looks much better than it used to and ice actually looks worse than it used to. I mean I still would have preferred ice over glass in 1.6 but yeah it's nice how it's working that way for me. Uh, MBS still only one sale but yeah I think I'll move on to some other places now. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Bad puns for the win. Well I'm here at the spider spawners dual spider spawners and this used to be an A shaft uh, you can still get in here through here I believe can you? yeah about that and I blocked it off um, when I found these two cave spiders when, uh, when I found these spider spawners that one over there is a cave spider spawner and this one over here is a regular spider spawner which I thought it was very interesting. It was a dungeon, by the way. It wasn't just some oddity in the program. So I've turned it into a farm. I've made it uh, full damage. As you can see, it's all the way down to bedrock. And um, 
yeah, I did a lot of mining down there, and I found a huge lava pool, which I just smelted a lot of cobble down there. So I've got that chest, I've got this chest, then I've got this. There's, there's a reason I've got cake there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tavis was a bit confused and asked if he could eat it, but I said no. Anyway, this is going to be where all the string will be taken to. Uh, I've got some stuff here for later. Oh. Okay, oh, I wasn't expecting you. Anyway, I've, I've put those 17 hoppers down here. I um, need to get much more iron to complete this. You can see why I need that iron now. And the reason the skeleton was there is from the spider spawner, because it spawns spider jockeys, which is a frustrating thing about it. And I think spiders have more health than cave spiders. So even though I'm on layer 5, and up there it's like, 20 or something, that's not a high enough distance to kill the spiders and, and not the skeletons either because skeletons have the same amount as us. So yeah, I might try and install some lava system like I had with the um, golem farm, but I don't know. Yeah, I love it. So much better than the array of chests. Well, kind of it is, but it's organized now. I've put everything into chests, They've, it's pretty well sorted, I haven't uh, done this end and this end, and haven't done the walls and the roof, I haven't really done the walls because I might expand down these ends, but probably no, I think this is going to be a lot, but yes, I got a lot of things, I got uh, cool colour walls and dyes, hot colour walls and dyes, gravel, fruity stuff, um, food bar, mob drops and stuff, we've got good books, like all my silk touch books are right there, along with the fifth one in the ender chest, uh, we've got saddles, minecarts, stone bricks, wait, hang on, just remember, why is there buttons in the stone brick chest, uh, all four woods, and I've got a lot of jungle wood, and I should have a bit of spruce as well, yeah I do, so I've got glass, sand, regular and china books, Never brick, uh, quartz, tools, and swords. Um, my sword. No, I'll leave it there. Uh, silk touch, some silk touch blocks, like glass and ice. Got um, stronghold local blocks, man made clay, leaves, brewing, bows, armor, redstone, seeds. <laughs> I just have a lot of seeds, that's why it's got a whole chest dedicated to itself. Uh, plants, hostile mob drops, passive mob drops, and malicious. Is that how it's pronounced? Random stuff, so I've got trolling the map slime ball in here and all this stuff, including the boots. I just need to get protection free and I'm breaking free on it, but it's perfect. Uh, these ones aren't filled. This one right here is my adventure chest, which. Wait, is there? Maybe it's this one down here. Yeah, that's it. So I've put some stuff in there. I've got snow, soul sand, records, and I think I got red recently. Flint, coal, uh, these are all potions, so fire resistance, uh, strength, speed, and we've got rails, pistons, mossy cobble, doors, cobble, mushroom, which is very odd, I noticed, because this was all from a brown mushroom and this was from a red mushroom and apparently they got different IDs and then we just got the chains since I got so much of that as well plus the bottles and on the other side there's nothing on this other side but we have this is going to be fishing rods for 1.7 uh, glowstone and iron uh, none from the farm just my own uh, sugarcane books like raw books uh, night vision potions and invisibility as well. Gold, regen, healing, neverack, written books. This was for villagers. Uh, stairs and other weird cobble stuff. Dirt, um, bottle enchantments, which is currently empty. Uh, stone, which is where this belongs. And horse armor. And this is silk touch, so yeah. This was all from one caving session, uh, single diamond vein, which was a bit annoying, 
And I found a spider dungeon on layer 10, which is pretty rare. And so I had a name tag, golden apple, four redstone, a bucket, a whole heap of other stuff, and this enchanted book. With Bane of Alphapods 4 on it. Troll dungeon is trolling. Uh, so I might start burning these books soon. Well, I lost track of time again. It's night time. It's around one, around 15 minutes, and I suck at pronouncing. Pronunciation, as Chaunce tells me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Let's see if I can hit myself. Ooh, that was close. Anyway, see ya.